This is our setup for setting up a new Mac at Swinburne University. Uh, this Mac is straight out of the box, so it's not in our JSS. And so it, it's going to prompt the user to set up the Mac on first boot. And the first thing we're going to see is a little welcome message with uh, our phone number and email if we need any help. You just hit continue there to get started. And I'm going to give this Mac a name. And I can choose from staff, labs, shared or loaner. I'm going to make this a staff Mac and hit register. It just takes a few moments to send that name to the JSS. And then based on that name, it's going to get the correct policies it needs. And that's it. The Mac is now installing the software it needs. The entire setup is controlled by just four policies. The first policy at enrollment installs Step Notify, um, our logo, and creates a Step Notify user account that is going to log in on that first reboot. Then on the first reboot, it's going to go through this complete enrollment stage, uh, which will actually fire off one of these two policies, depending on whether the Mac is a lab or a staff machine. The final thing that any Mac does in our environment is install Sophos. So I'm using Sophos as the way to kind of trigger the end of the deployment session. As soon as Sophos is installed, the Mac is moved into a, a completed enrollment smart group, and then it deletes uh, Dep Notify and the scripts that powered this whole thing. With this new setup, it's even easier to re-image a machine. Uh, you can do it via the self-service policy, or you can just push out a re-image to an entire lab. It takes about 12 minutes for the Mac to re-image using net install, which is Apple's preferred method. And sometimes it does still prompt you for a computer account, even though we've asked Jamf not to. Um, so I've got a little trick in there to skip that as well. The machine will reboot, and because it's already in Jamf, it knows it's a staff Mac, and it's going to rebuild as it needs to. If it was a lab machine, it would do the same thing without any user prompting. Because this Mac is building as a staff Mac, there's not a lot of software to install before the user gets the machine. Uh, so this will take about 20 minutes to build. If it was a lab Mac, it could take up to an hour, uh, but the menu would explain that to the user. And now all the software is on the Mac, uh, we're back at the login screen and we can log into the Mac and start using it.